We're here at Chula Vista High School where the Spartans are hosting a couple of summer passing league games. We're here today, uh, Chula Vista versus Montgomery. Chula Vista is on offense, seven on seven. Touchdown. We're here with uh, Montgomery coach Ted Jeremiah, and um, his team has participated in five passing league events this summer. And, Coach, what do these events offer at this time of the season for teams? Uh, learning. That's all it's about. There's no winning and losing. It's learning well, the stuff you've done right and the plays you've mistakes that you've made to correct yourself. That's all we're looking for. We've got a young team, and, and that's where our progression is at. Uh, in the game against Chula Vista did today, your linebackers and your defense look pretty good at making a lot of interceptions. Uh, we're getting better. You know, we this is our, our fourth week of, of doing this since we came back from dead period, and uh, they're starting to learn and trust their reads and the, what they're supposed to be doing. And how would you assess the team's offensive performance? Uh, it's a little sporadic right now. Uh, we're, it's a new offensive coordinator. Uh, but they're able to score and they're able to move the ball. Uh, we have a running, a couple good running backs, and right now we're just throwing. And what about the outlook for the coming season? Look to win the, the league. You know, I believe it's, you know, we have Castle Park, San Isidro, and, and Southwest to compete, but we're going to be in there, get it done. We're here with Mar Vista coach Tyler Arciaga, and it's uh, summer, and uh, what uh, do these uh, passing uh, league events offer the team at this point of the season? Well, I think it offers a variety of things for the coaches and players. Number one, for the coaches, it gives a chance to kind of see the skill set that you have on the perimeters, and then it allows the kids a chance to compete against other people. You know, you get tired of beating up on yourselves and, you know, scrimmage against yourselves, and so this gives you a chance to compete against other schools and, and see how the kids do under, under fire a little bit. And uh, what about the coming season? I know Mar Vista did not make the playoffs last year despite having a pretty good season. Is there some motivation this year? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we dropped down a division. You know, we have 13, 1,400 kids, so we're in Division Four this year. And, and uh, you know, hopefully with that and, uh, you know, the kids motivated a little bit from last year, that'll help us out. And, uh, you know, we have a good, good front line, I think, with coming back. Uh, you know, we lack a little depth on the skill set but or on the skill kids, but uh, hopefully... Like I said, we can keep that together and keep the kids healthy, and you know we'll see where it goes. And uh, any uh, early season favorites for league this year? You know, it's a pretty balanced league. You know, modern day always has some guys that come in and, and whatnot, so you're just not sure what you're going to get. You know, Brian does a good job over there at uh, Sweetwater and, you know, with that double wing. And, uh, you know, Cody, I know, had a tough year last year at Hilltop with a lot of injuries. So, uh, you know, it should be a, it's a, I think it's a very, I think it's the most balanced league out of the, the, the three that we have down here in the Metro Conference. We're here with uh, Chula Vista coach Daryl Butterfield. Uh, he's taking over the Spartan program this year. And, and coach, uh, what's it been like so far in training camp for the been team? been great. The boys are working hard. I'm real proud of them. Uh, a lot of learning, a lot of technique work learning, but a lot of hitting learning. We're, we're just, we're learning to hit, we're learning to drive our feet, we're learning to snap the ball, hand the ball off. We're just working hard. And uh, what are some of the season goals this year? Win one game at a time. Let me rephrase that. Play one game at a time and expect a win. And who are some of the top returners this year? Okay, well, uh, uh, as far as returners, we only got one returner on offense. He's our center. But uh, uh, our guys this year are going to be our quarterback, Emiliano Orozco, uh, our, our offensive line, uh, our running backs, our Sergio, uh, uh, and uh, Adrian Gonzalez. We're going to be fine. 
Uh, I'm Chris Bogill. I'm a senior at Benita Vista High School. I play linebacker and running back. Uh, my personal goal for this season is to be the best player I can be, learning a new position at linebacker, and I'll, I'll all together as a team, trying to win the CIF championship and win the league. Hey, I'm Aaron Deal. I'm a senior at Benita Vista High School. I play middle linebacker. My goal for this year is to win CIF and state, and then this year is going to be good. My name is Moli Falongo. I'm a senior at Benita Vista High School. My personal goal for this year is to be the best D-lineman that I could ever be and to help my teammates get to CIF this year. My name is Atoa Fox. I play for Bonita Vista High School, strong safety. Uh, our, for, our team goals are to win CIF championship and hopefully stay. My name is William Kuhelolo, senior tight end and H-back for Bonita Vista High School. And my personal goal is to help my team and to contribute to get to the CIF. And as a team goal, I want to win that CIF championship. We're at Hilltop High School with uh, Luis Hernandez, a returning first team all South Bay League uh, wide receiver last year. And uh, how are you guys here at Hilltop looking at the upcoming season? Uh, I think we're going to do pretty good this season. We're a bunch of returners. We were a young team last year. I mean, made a lot of uh, silly mistakes. So I think this year we're going to come back strong. We're here with uh, senior Matt Hanau. He was uh, second team all league last year. and. Uh, how would you assess the team strengths this year? Uh, I think we have really good secondary this year because they were all young last year, but they really stepped it up in uh, the off season. Um, really looking, they're really looking good this year. I'm looking forward to playing with them this year as well. We're here with uh, Angel Pineda, another returning all league player from uh, last season on Hilltop, and uh, the Lancers uh, had a lot of in untimely injuries last year and. Uh, I think Coach Roloff's uh, goal, number one goal is for the team to stay healthy this year. So uh, if the team can stay healthy, what type of season do you think you guys might have? I think we're going to have a great season this year. Uh, like the, a lot of the guys said, we're going to be, be a young team. We were a young team last year. This year, as me and myself, I'm a junior now. Last year I was a sophomore. We'll, we'll do pretty good if our team can stay healthy. We're here with Coach Lee Price, uh, East Lake High School. Uh, we're at a scrimmage at Grossmont High School, and uh, Coach, at this point of the season, we're about a couple weeks away from the start of regular season play. How's the team shaping up? I think we're looking pretty good. We have a good, good strong team. Uh, kids are working really hard out here. Of course, our competition's going to be pretty tough this year. I think we have one of the toughest uh, schedules in the county. We got. Uh, uh, a couple teams from outside of the county first between Lucerna and El Toro, two great teams. And then we come back uh, into our county and we play Helix and then Madison and St. Augustine and Cathedral. And then our league's about as good as it's been in a long time. Benita's looking great. Otai and Olympian, all are fantastic athletes, great coaches. And Chula's got a new coach, so, uh, you know, we always come up and surprise. And I know they'll be ready to play us when the time comes. So I'm excited about what we have, uh, but, uh, you know, we got to go out there and uh, you know you want to be the best you got to beat the best that's always been our motto and uh, that's why we schedule who we schedule.